Wednesday marked the opening of Oilers' main camp with medicals and fitness testing and the storylines, well, they're a plenty, and that's why we bring in one of the voices of the Edmonton Oilers, 6.30 Chad's Cam Moon. And Cam, there's a lot of storylines, as I mentioned, in certain positions on this Oilers' depth chart. Let's begin with the left side up front. The most intriguing name? might just be Dylan Holloway. Well, he had a, a tremendous Young Stars tournament in Penticton, and it looked like he had elevated his game. And last year, playing in the American Hockey League, I know coming off that surgery at the start, so it was, you know, he had to ease himself into the season, but continued to get better. And at the Young Stars, showed that he was at the top of his class yeah. amongst his peers. Uh, scored some great goals. He has that tremendous speed, the drive to the net, the ability to keep plays alive. He did all of those things. Yeah. I, I also found what was very interesting uh, when Ken Holland said that hey, I'm not going to keep him around if he doesn't play a lot of minutes. Yeah. And that is, uh, you know, that's just smart managing, of course, as uh, you want to continue to develop him and, and make sure that he's ready. But the way he played in Penticton, that makes it uh, incredibly intriguing yeah. going into this training camp to watch where he fits in once you mix in all the veteran players and, and see if he's ready to make that step to the NHL. Yeah, the question with Holloway is can he assume a top nine roster spot with this NHL club? I mean, he looked like a man amongst boys uh, during the weekend and Penticton, but as Ken Holland mentioned, yeah. uh, the play elevates with the NHL preseason, then the eventually the NHL regular season. All right, from the left side up front to the left side on the back end, a lot of competition with the likes of Broberg, Niemelainen, and Ryan Murray, just to name a few. Yeah, it, and it's going to be great competition. I mean, Philip Broberg, the way he played in Penticton, he looks like he's yeah. ready to make that step to the NHL. Yeah, he got games in last year. I had you know a bit of a, a head start, if you will, and also some quality time in the American League. But at the Young Stars, he looked like one of the best defensemen on the ice, and and he should. And now we'll see when we move into the the regular training camp and then the preseason. But when you have Samarukov and, and Murray and those guys and Nima Linen, I mean, they're, they're right there too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Philip Broberg has played on the other side too. If you need a guy on the right wing, uh, it would be his offside, but yeah. he's played it quite a bit and he is comfortable doing it. But that's what, yeah, that's what training camp's for. And that's what the preseason is for, is to give these players opportunity. And, and you know, quite honestly, they usually figure it out themselves and, and make it, you, you want to make it very difficult on coach and management to, for these decisions, but I, I would think the, the effort level from all will be incredibly high, and we will see through the preseason uh, who gets that spot uh, when we get the regular season going. But even then, even then, once you get to that, it's still not done. Yeah. I mean, it is day-to-day, -day, and uh, Ken said it's a results league, not a developmental league in the NHL. So you have to continue to provide those results. Yeah, Philip Roberg drew into 23 NHL games last season, one playoff game, and if all goes to plan, according to his vision, he'll be a full-time NHLer beginning with opening night. All right, another intriguing yeah. storyline. Yes, a Paul Yarvi. Oil Country has kept their eye on the situation throughout the summer. What's the latest, Cam, on Paul Yarvi? Well, and, and Ken Holland made a great point. I mean, it's it's up to uh, Yes, a Paul Yarvi to to earn his spot and earn his ice time. And again, that's what training camp in the preseason is for. And yeah. how he plays in training camp and preseason will dictate once the regular season starts where he fits into the mix and then what he continues to do will be how he maintains it. So that's I, last season, there was ups and downs for Yesa Pugliarvi for sure. And, and that's to be expected with young players, but you know, this is a new season. The, the slate is somewhat clean at this point. And now you got to go in there for, for him and to, to earn that spot, earn that ice time, earn the trust of the coaches and, and go from there. So for, to me, it, it's it, for him, he's got to be ready to go and, and have a great camp and a great preseason. Yeah, Ken Holland also mentioned today, giving us updates on a handful of players. Uh, Slater Cuckoo won't be with the team. He's going to be away from the team, uh, focusing on and working on his mental health. Uh, so best of luck uh, to Slater and the Cuckoo family. Uh, Carter Savoy was injured in Penticton. No timeline yet. They said they're still awaiting results on Savoy's lower body injury. And then Ryan McLeod, they're hopeful 
that they can get the deal done uh, as early as this afternoon. I know Ken Holland is meeting with McLeod's uh, agent this afternoon, yeah. hoping he can get on the ice tomorrow to join his teammates. All right, Thursday morning will mark the first day of on-ice sessions at Oilers' main camp. Cam, thanks for this. All right, thank you.